Hi guys and welcome to another video. talking about the most cringiest moments that ever happened on Glee. I'm going to regret this. This video can go one of two ways. I'm either going to throw up or I'm just going to get really grossed out. Probably both. But yeah. I'm not going to lie to you guys. A lot of this will be talking about Will Schuster because most of the cringy stuff in Glee was done by him. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Oh, why did I decide to do cringiest moments? I don't know, but I was going to do it at some point. So I might as well get it out of the way now. So, yeah, let's get started. So the first one that I want to talk about is the whole Acafellas episode. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you can sit through that episode without cringing, then I do not know what's up with you because every single time I rewatch Glee, I have to skip that episode. I physically cannot sit through that episode again. Once was enough for me, <laughs> and I've rewatched Glee a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. And that is one that I could never, ever, ever sit through again. I don't want to sit through it again. Because, just, just no. Like, this was literally what my face was like watching that episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I looked like Sue Sylvester watching that episode. And I never want to watch it again. Like, I'm sorry, but why on earth did Will Schuster randomly turn around to a bunch of boys and just say, Oh, I know, we'll start an all male a cappella group and call it Acapellas? No! <laughs> and then, when people started to drop out, they got two teenage lads to perform with them. For, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Josh Groban. Just, just no. No, I'm just, I think I'm just going to shut up about this because I swear to God, I, I'm cringing just thinking about that episode again. But honestly, I don't know what Ryan Murphy was thinking when he decided to write that episode. Because for me, it was just irrelevant and shouldn't have been there. <laughs> but there's nothing we can do to change that now. It is there. Uh, it is, unfortunately everywhere but yeah i would highly class the Acafellas episode as a cringy moment don't know about you guys but i definitely would <laughs> but yeah let's move on to the second one so the second one is the whole riot over the tater tots thing i personally think that that was just cringy to watch like yeah it's funny but all Mercedes did was stand on a table 
and held up a sign saying tots. And then all of a sudden that started a riot. <laughs> what what was the necessity for that? Yeah. I've got nothing else to say on that one, but for me, that is definitely a cringy moment. 100%. Like, how can a riot start from just somebody standing on a table holding a sign with one word on? Like, literally. I mean, Kurt's face was a picture when that started. Like, hold on, here's a clip. Yeah, that was my face. <laughs> that is what I was like. I was like, what? Like, I don't understand how a riot can start from that. But, yeah. I don't control Ryan Murphy. If I could, I would tell him to go back in time and change them episodes. <laughs> so, yeah. The next one that I want to talk about is Tina's fake stutter. Personally... I don't know why Tina had to pretend to have a stutter just to impress a lad, but I guess that's what people do nowadays. They just think, oh, I know, I'll fake having a stutter, and that will get this lad to like me. It worked for a bit, and I'm glad she admitted it in the end, but mm, shouldn't have been done in the first place, in my opinion. But, yeah, it was, unfortunately... <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, we move on. <laughs> so, the next one that I do want to talk about is Rachel's crush on Will. Yeah, this was very painful to watch. <laughs> because, if you actually listen closely, when Will is singing the song to Rachel about don't stand so close to me and stuff like that, he actually said, he actually sings... Young girl, get out of my mind. My love for you is way out of line. In fact, here's the clip. Yeah, I'm going to be including a lot of clips within this. So, yeah. It's going to be a lot of clips. But, I personally think that he was just trying to impress Emma and be like... Oh, yeah, I don't like, but deep down he was like, oh, hell yeah, I, I like this girl. Like, personally, I just think that is just, just cringy. Like, he is a full-grown man, Rachel is a student. I personally think that he likes Rachel, but who knows? If you think that, guys, please comment it down below. I would actually love to hear what your opinions are on these, so, yeah. Drop them down below or message me on Instagram. I will be happy to hear what you think. But, yeah. It was really cringy. Like, really, really cringy. And the next one, I'm not even going to talk about. Because I think you all know it's coming. So I'm just going to include this clip. Oh. You know what Wednesday is, right? Hump day. says hump day <laughs> like oh just just no will no <laughs> but we move on <laughs> literally watching that scene i was like what on earth is this like will to turn around and say Oh, you know what Wednesday is, right? Hump day. Just, just no. 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 Matthew Morrison, no. <laughs> it's just the fact that he was acting serious. Like, the clip, uh, like, a few minutes ago that I just showed, it's like he's being serious. But personally, again, I think that was irrelevant. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. When Sue sang Super Bass in a mashup with Blaine. I mean, Blaine's bit was fine. I, I love the song, I still believe. And I like the song Super Bass. J 
just not sung by Jane Lynch, <laughs> personally. I'm sorry, but every time that Sue Sylvester sung in Glee just made me cringe. Because for me, Sue was not a singing character. Like, I don't know what even persuaded Ryan Murphy to think, oh, I know, I'll give Sue Sylvester a few songs. No. Sue Sylvester was not made to sing. The only song I actually liked that she did sing is Little Girls. That is the one that I did I did like. But Vogue, Super Bass and the rest, I did not like. Like, in fact guys, I'm just gonna show you. And he ill, he real, he might get a deal. He pop bottles and he got the right kind of bill. He cold, he dope, he might be broke. He always in the air, but he never fly coat. He a total freaking trip trip, sailor of the ship ship. When he make a trip trip, kiss him on a lip lip. That's the kind of dude I was looking for. And yes, you'll get slapped if you're looking how. Yeah, Sue Sylvester, please don't rap. Please, do, please don't be a Will Schuster. But yeah, let's move on. And now we've got to the dreaded one, that everyone is going to be like, yes, 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 yes. The whole twerking episode with the song Blurred Lines and Will Schuster twerking on a stage with a bunch of teenagers. Yeah, this was painful. I mean, absolutely painful. I mean, Blurred Lines in itself is a crap song. I hate it. Hate it with a passion. And that was painful to watch. And the fact that he was fighting to get twerking in schools... Does that not show something? Like, literally, just no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Will Schuster, to me, is a cringy man with some serious issues. And that's just my opinion. Like, it is my opinion. Some people might have different. And I know some people that actually like Will Schuster. How can you like Will Schuster? He's the cringiest person on Glee. <sighs> just, just no. Just no. In fact, I'm going to include a lot of clips in this and I hope this video doesn't get copyrighted, but if it does, it does. But here's a short clip of the twerking episode. Yeah, that wasn't needed, but it happened. I'm going to move on to the next one before I actually do cringe. Like, that episode made me feel sick. Like, it really did make me feel sick. But yeah, I'm just going to move on. So the next one I want to talk about is... Is Sue Sylvester marrying and divorcing herself? Why was that included in Glee? Why did Sue Sylvester feel the need to marry herself? Did she want to prove a point? Or what? <laughs> like, no. No, no, no. Just, just no. I've got nothing else to say on that. So let's just move on. When Will dressed up as a bullfighter and sung a little less conversation in Spanish. It's just the intro for me that makes it cringy. In fact, here it is. cringy absolutely cringy like if i remember correctly he wasn't even trained in spanish 
it was the only vacancy available. Personally, you should have just accepted that there was no vacancies. Because you cannot speak Spanish. Nope. And you certainly can't sing in it. I don't I don't understand the episode The Spanish Teacher. I really don't. I just don't understand it. But yeah. Let's move on. And here we go. This is considered a hate crime. When Will Schuster sung the Fong song. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Thighs like what, what, what? Baby, move your butt, 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 uh. I think I'm singing again. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Thighs like what, what, what? All night long. Let me see that song. I've no words. I've honestly no words. Like, it's like I just said, Will Schuster rapping is just a hate crime. Like, when I get to my final one, I will include a clip of why it's just so cringe. It's just why it's so cringy. But yeah. Will Schuster should not have sung the Fong song to Emma. How she was impressed by that, I do not know. But I can guarantee you the nation wasn't. <laughs> we was not impressed. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know what else to say on it. Apart from it was impossible to watch. It made my ears want to bleed. And, yeah. It was just cringier. And now we get to one that I don't even think I need to talk about. So I'm just going to show you. Hit it. Uh. Yep, that really sexual moan that Will does in the song Kiss with Holly Holiday. It wasn't necessary at all. That moan is just horrendous. It didn't need to happen. But it did. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that you've just got to cope with. Like, when I first watched that, it, I didn't even expect it. Like, I've heard the song Kiss before. But the moan was nothing like that. Like, this was a full-blown moan. It didn't need to happen. Didn't need to happen. And also, when he started to shake his bum in Tell Me Something New. When he sung that with Sue. Oh, this is painful to talk about. That whole song I hate. I actually do hate this. Like, I was speaking about this song with one of my mates the other day. And we were literally just saying that this song was absolutely, ridiculously awful. Like, it really, really was. So, yeah. I've got nothing else to say on that matter. Because I'm starting to get really, really cringed out. Uh, so, yeah, I have got nothing else to say other than Glee had a lot of cringy moments. I'm sure there is many more cringy moments that I've not covered. But, yeah, they are just some of the ones I did want to talk about. So, yeah, I'm now cringed, <laughs> like, badly. So, there you go, guys. There is a few cringy moments that happened in Glee. I never want to make a video like this again because I am really, really cringed out. So, I'm glad I've got this video out of the way. But, yeah, that is it for today's video. 
I now upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. My Glee content will be uploaded on a Tuesday and my musical theatre content will be uploaded on a Friday. So, yeah, that is it. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all soon for another video.